Rule of Hip, Arthroscopy, After Traumatic Dislocation of the Hip. Brain in 26 found that loose bodies results from sharing of the femoral head against the scapular head. Loose bodies were so com common that all fractured dislocation be treated with open deprivement according to his opinion. One is in uh, 26 found that hip arthroscopy are done routinely for all patients with hip dislocation, not otherwise requiring open surgery, not uh, with fracture, commit fr fracture scapulum or uh, fracture hip. Uh, he found whose bodies were found in 20 and 92% of cases who were arthroscopic. Uh, his series included 37 patients. Those bodies were found in 78 cases in which standard radiographic studies uh, and uh, CT not concluded those bodies inside the joint. So, places of consent reproduction in plain radiographs and no evidence of those bodies in CT didn't correspond with clean, with clean or clear joints. Uh, according to his uh, conclusion, Hip arthroscopy should be done routinely in every case of hip dislocation is a matter of controversy. Morris found those bodies, according to this uh, conclusion, Morris found that those bodies in 78 of cases in which a standard telegraphs and CT found those bodies, so hip arthroscopy should be done according to, this, to his uh, studies. Neglected hip pathology may lead to premature osteoarthritis, so hip arthroscopy is preferred. Generative changes may also be uh, accelerated, such as with uh, cell body wear caused by retention of the loose bodies. Epstein in 1973 reported the presence of those bodies in 91% of hips managed with open reduction for fracture dislocation. Epstein found incidence of traumatic arthritis to be 70% of so, uh, 17% of those patients treated by open reduction and 35% of those treated by closed reduction. Uh, so, late X-ray and CT should be done routinely for every case of closed reduction of hip dislocations. Here, late X-ray shows those bodies inside the hip joints. And this is the CT of these patients. Found here this is the body. <coughs> non concentric reduction routinely we do surgical intervention. Those bodies with concentric reduction is a matter of controversy. Some surgeons prefer to do hair arthroscopy, others no, let him to go uh, as conservative because uh, the, uh, the hips is concentrically reduced. Uh, so that hip arthroscopy is a safe and effective tool in after uh, closed reduction of dislocated hip, loose fragments inside the joints are the clearest indication of the hip arthroscopy. Uh, our series here, we did five cases of hip arthroscopy after traumatic dislocation, actually four cases after traumatic dislocation and one case firearm injury, brain x-ray and CT done for all patients, uh, four cases operated with the first, in the first, within the first week and the fourth case after two months from over reduction and internal fixation. Uh, such that techniques, we could have discussed this before, skin and skin landmarks and vortex, X-ray preoperative, and this is the equipment set up. Uh, uh, as Dr. Hatton said before, peripheral compartment work up first, central compartment work up, uh, this case presentation made patient 55 years old, simple dislocation. Hello, hello, hello. Ayuwa. Ayuwa. Five minutes in the house of traumatic dislocation. Okay, Mesh. Okay. Okay, we will start in the central compartment. Our tool.